Hey there, Sharon Hornell from here. Welcome to day 123 of our annual challenge, our BU 365 day challenge to do one thing every day. If it's a big thing or a little thing, at least one thing every day that improves us. I like to go for continuous improvement, but it doesn't always work out that way. It's like everything else. Sometimes we're up, sometimes we're down, sometimes we're happy, sometimes we're sad. Uh, and we need to make the best of whatever we can as we're becoming whoever it is we want to become, whatever it is we want to become here in this life. So this month, this segment, we're focusing on financial, financial health, financial well-being, however you want to describe it and call it. We talked a couple days ago about what is financial well-being to you? What does it mean to you? What areas and aspects of finance do you want to consider as we spend a month focusing on money, may I call it, focusing on the things that are important to us and what they mean to us because the more we understand about ourselves and what's important to us the better we can make decisions and choices and that leads to today's topic which is core values specifically financial core values if we know what is important to us what is central to our being what is core to us core meaning the center or most important part uh, it's the cornerstone of who you are those goals, those values, not goals. Goals and values are different. Goals are something for what, that we're shooting for in the future. Core values are the here and now, what we feel in the, in the moment, what we feel right now. And usually our core values are something that's important to us. It's been important to us the majority of our life, if not our entire life, and will continue to be into the future. Goals can change. Our core values, pretty much once we set our sights on those, those stay the same throughout our life. Uh, so what are some examples of financial core values? And then our action item today is going to be to think about your five most important financial core values. And then in the comments below, just share one. Share one financial core value or one financial value that you hold near and dear. So what are some examples? I looked up some examples of financial core values. I've done this exercise before, so I don't want to cheat. And so I wanted to look up other people's lists, not my own. So from a personal finance standpoint, or for our financial well-being and financial health, some examples of values that would be important might be security, safety, minimizing risk, or uh, we all have a different uh, feeling about how much risk we will and will not take. We have like a, a thermostat in each and every one of us. It's just like our income. We have a set point for our income where we feel comfortable. And unless we change that set point, we'll just continue to make about the same amount of money all the time. The same is true about risk and fear and comfort zone and things. We have a place where we feel comfortable and we'll do all kinds of things within that comfort zone until we reach that limit which is like the, the temperature set on the thermostat, once we get that, then we'll make adjustments subconsciously a lot of the time to keep us at that point. So security, stability, uh, freedom is money and freedom. To me, money is freedom. It means I have more choices and more opportunities. Uh, might not be to you, but freedom, family, health, physical and health and all the different areas and aspects of our life can be imp impacted by money. So if health is important to us, uh, we'll have different and make different choices around money and work and businesses and who we do business with than if that's not a priority to us. Uh, wealth, flexibility, creativity, being debt free is, is important to some people. Now, um, I used to not ever want debt, but then I learned about debt and debt is not necessarily a bad thing we might talk about that this month we probably will talk about that this month when we talk about assets and liabilities or i think i might even have a day i don't have my calendar but uh to talk about um debt and there's good debt and there's bad debt right um debt to attain assets i believe is good debt debt to uh cover liabilities and living expenses and and luxuries is bad debt all right, because we're paying interest on the things and we have to, uh, my trick with that, I'm, I'm getting off track. Okay, so personal financial values. Now, businesses, just like we individually have core values, our businesses and our business culture ends up having a set of its own core values and beliefs. Now, if you're the owner and the operator of that business, you have the ability to determine what those core values and 
principles and visions and missions and everything are going to be for that company. But if you are working for someone else, you may or may not. I have personally worked for organizations where some of our core values matched the companies with mine. Some of them didn't. And depending on what that mismatch is, will determine and did determine if I could stay with that company or not. Uh, one company I worked for had values and beliefs that were not consistent with what mine were. And so I chose to leave that organization. So today, think about your core values. We've covered core values. Uh, four to, this is the fifth time this year already. So I've gone into more descriptions of how do you set your core values if you don't know. In previous months, you can you can go back, you can search the Get Up and Go Challenge uh, private Facebook group. And under Guide 15, all of this year's daily challenges are in there. So you can go and find all 122, 123 after I post today's uh, in there. And you can just search core values in the search bar and you'll get all of them. Now, there's also 14 other segments in there. And we've talked about core values before, at least once a challenge. So there's at least 10 times that we've talked about core values in there. And some of them have greater or lesser descriptions about the process of identifying and determining what your core values are. Because guess what? You've already got core values. You just might not be consciously aware of what they are and how they're operating in your life. So um, there's ways to go about finding out what those are. That's it. Core values, one of my favorite topics because, and we'll talk about it every segment with each of the nine areas and aspects of our life. Why? Because we need to know what's operating in our life. For example, I have a core value of security and safety and comfort zone, right? I hate to admit it, but I still do have a certain level like that thermostat, that set point where I I have to be comfortable a certain percentage of the time or a certain amount of the time. And I'm doing tricks to get myself to stretch my comfort zone all the time. I did a whole annual challenge. Uh, it was my first annual challenge on doing one thing every day that scares me intentionally to stretch my comfort zone. And I stretched it a lot, but like everything else in life, I can always improve. I can always get better. There's a lot of things I'm still resistant and, and afraid to do. And so I don't do them. You know, I've never jumped out of a plane, but the one time, the couple times I, I was going to do it, something happened and I was traveling when the kids went. So I got out of it. So obviously that the level of fear of jumping out of a plane, of course, with a parachute uh, I still haven't gotten over that enough to say, yes, I'm going to do that. So sometimes we have core beliefs like that, that conflict with our other goals, our other values, our other core beliefs. And it seems like financial area and aspect of our life is the one where the butting of the heads of those impacts us the most. But that means it sh we can see it, we can identify it, and we have the ability to Decide, do we want to stay with, with one or the other? Or do we want to let, do I want to let safety and security shut down and keep me in this little box of what I will or will not do? Or do I want to bust out of that? And financial, it's like our health. It's a really clear place to show if we're getting results or not when we make changes. All right, I'm, I'm meandering in my thoughts and, and comments today. So have an awesome day. Any questions about this, please ask. Otherwise, I will be with you tomorrow and we're going to hop into another topic with respect to our financial well-being this month. Have a great day.